Hello, everybody. Tom Nappy here with Eric Cardi. And today we are going to talk about some of the most recent weather trends in the Hopkinton area. Eric, how are you? I'm doing good, Tom. Thanks for having me on, as always. And before we get into the weather, uh, just real quickly, how's everything going at the DPW? I'm sure it was a busy week for you guys with the recent snowstorm. Yeah, real busy week. Uh, the guys put in a lot of hours. Uh, I think they went in Friday night at about 10 o'clock and didn't come home till uh, Sunday morning at 8 a.m. That was just to get some rest because they'd been up for over a day straight. And then they came right back in Sunday night uh, to continue on uh, getting the roads opened and uh, everything uh, safe for everybody to pass. So, uh, you know, kudos to the, the team down here. They do a great job of uh, getting everything opened up. Thankfully, it was a, a light and fluffy snow. If that was the only... Uh, Good part of it there. And we had about 16 inches. I, you know, I would have believed that we had close to two feet when I went outside, but um, you know, I took several measurements and I checked with some other people in town I know who do measurements and everybody had right around the 16 inch mark. It was just, just so light and fluffy. It looked like a lot more. Well, I know the official measurement in Milford was 17 inches. So I'd imagine Hopkins to right around there as well. Yeah. Uh, so speaking of this last storm, you know where that is record wise, as far as Hopkinton, uh, I probably towards the top i'd imagine yeah you know what i'm not sure tom because i i only have um our records going back about four or five years uh, we had uh you know back in 2015 um oh, yeah. this week as a matter of fact started a huge blitz where we had six weeks in a row of some really big storms i think we had three of uh 15 inches or greater uh, alone back there so i think you know it might might be in the the top 10 15 but i'm not not 100 sure all right. And uh, so when we talked uh, last time, you mentioned that we're probably going to get snow somewhere mid January and then it's going to warm up a little bit. This obviously came in later January. So you're only off by a week or two. And that's uh, really good in the weather business. So I have to give you credit for that. Uh, but what's the uh, future looking like? Uh, should we expect more snow? Is it going to warm up? Uh, what's your prediction? So in, in the short term, you know, it looks like we're still in a stormy pattern. Uh, the long range models uh, haven't quite come to fruition yet. The way the jet stream is set up, it's basically splitting uh, New England right in half. And because of that, you've got warm uh, air on the southern side with uh, Gulf moisture, which has a lot of energy. You can get the cold air from Canada on the northern side. And when those two clash, that just uh, causes all your storms. And that um, uh, line has not wavered at all. They thought that that would move up more to the north, giving us a lot warmer weather. But uh, we'll be back to seasonal weather, it looks like, next week, but still stormy. There's a potential for the end of next week for you know, another big potential snowstorm. And then hopefully there's supposed to be a patent change somewhere around mid-February when we get back to um, you know, a little bit uh, above seasonal average temperatures. But uh, you know, I think every Saturday for the past uh, five weeks uh, has not even got out of the 20s. So that's been been cold Saturdays and weekends, and that's going to be the case again this this coming weekend. Going to be in the uh, the 20s again. I guess it kind of makes up for last winter where it was uh, fairly warm. Uh, yes, yeah, we had. Um, you know, this is only the second winter month in five or six years that's actually been below normal. All the winter months for the past six years. The temperatures have all been warmer than normal. So this this is definitely uh, bucking the trend. <laughs> so pretty much you're saying buckle up. There might be some more snow. Yep. Don't put away the shovels or the snow blowers yet. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, just the way this, this setup is, it's got the potential for, uh, you know, and, and it's been so hard for everyone to forecast because of that line. Uh, you know, you can have anything from like, we're going to have tonight into tomorrow, rain, sleet, snow. It's just so hard until you get down to the you know a couple of days before it to figure out what that energy is actually going to uh, present. But um, you know it looks like we'll be seeing a mixed bag tonight. No snow, but uh, a lot of rain, and then changing over to a freezing sleet uh, into tomorrow. So tomorrow's and then it's going to turn to a flash freeze. So tomorrow's going to be a little dicey. And uh, I know we were talking briefly about that before uh, we started uh, filming this segment. Uh, what, what are you guys doing to uh, prepare? prepare for that you, you getting those uh the salt ready and all that type of stuff yeah so right now the focus uh for the highway they've been out there pushing back all the uh snow banks uh, knocking them down so people can see pulling out widening the roads 
uh, and trying to open up all the waterways now because we've seen a significant snow, snow melt in just the past couple of days with the warmer temperatures. Uh, with this rain, that will, will further uh, reduce that snowpack, but there's a lot of water uh, that'll be out there. So they got the drains opened up. Uh, it's going to be kind of difficult for them to pre-treat for this storm because it will be a lot of heavy rain. You can't put the salt down uh, ahead of time because uh, that'll just wash away. Uh, so hopefully uh, there's a little bit of a uh, break in between the heavy rain and before the sleet comes so they get some of the treatment down there. But just timing, you know, it doesn't look good. It's going to be the morning commute tomorrow around 8 a.m. when that cold air comes in. So hopefully uh, it doesn't cause too many problems for the commute. So drive slow, folks. It could be uh, some ice on the roads. Out yeah, there. work from home tomorrow if you can. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Well, uh, Eric, uh, thanks so much for all you guys do and uh, taking care of the roads after the snowstorm. And uh, you guys always do a great job. And uh, thanks so much for filling us in on what to expect with upcoming weather. All right, Tom, if I could just add one quick thing, I just want to uh, give a big thank you out to, to the Hopkins residents of the great job they do in helping us shovel out the, uh, the fire hydrants. These guys work an incredible amount of hours and it takes us several days after a storm to get to the hydrants, especially when the roads are being pushed back and wide and widened. But we just want to really thank everybody who's out there. We've seen so many hydrants shoveled out and it's a big help to us in the fire department.